we welcome you to Behind the Scenes. I'm Matthew Crouch. This is my wife, Lori. And by the way, we're on that thing called Instagram. You mm -hmm. know, the little Instagram mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And since we're doing <laughs> I thought of that just now because we, we, when we're in places like Budapest, Hungary, which yes. we're going to be talking about today, we usually post pictures. And, you know, if you want to stay up with kind of where we are in the world and what we're doing on your behalf, go to Instagram. Budapest, Hungary. Yes. Interesting place. Yes. That just asked TBN for a meeting. Okay. So we started getting some contacts, several different contacts mm -hmm. that we that we went to Budapest. Budapest is a an amazing city. The Danube River, the Chain Bridge, and so we stayed at a hotel near the Danube River, and we did a meeting there. Okay, let me tell you what my takeaway from, from this, this meeting was. Okay. It felt like everyone was hungry. Uh, forgive me for that, but they were hungry for Christian television. I'm mean, talking about the country of Hungary. I'm not trying to be funny here. I mean, seriously, though, it was a... It was a meeting mm -hmm. that they felt like Christian television needed to come there and it needed to come there now. Yes. Okay, That was my takeaway. Sometimes when you do initial pastor leaders meeting, you know, they're kind of looking at you a little funny and kind of wondering what you're up to. Mm -hmm. Well, the name Trinity Broadcasting, after being on the air for 44 years, you know, has a reputation of being a very evangelical, evangelistic, 24-hour-a-day service. Mm -hmm. And it felt like they were almost desperate mm -hmm. for Christian television, an yeah. urgency in that meeting. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, you and I and Bob Fatma, our, our chief operating officer, we, we basically you know, do a little bit of a tag team. We welcome people. We talk to them about programming. We talk to them about how other countries, in this case, when we were in, in Budapest, we were talking about Poland mm -hmm. and how aggressive the new Polish network and the group there and, and, and Christoph there and, and all of that whole group is. And, and it was really, I think, inspiring for them to see other, you know, European mm -hmm. countries that that are really taking a hold of the thought that their country could have Christian television. And I was, very, I was very impressed with the, with the desire and the urgency that I felt in that room. And what, 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 what did you feel? Well, you know, every, every time I'm in one of those meetings, I just go back to when mom and dad were building the stations here in America. Yeah. You know, those states now have turned into countries hmm. and not just, not just being a part of the United States and Christian television now as part of the world and these countries inviting and desperate for God, des desperate for the grace of and God. And for their nation and to their nation receive to yes. and, and to get this revelation. So the opportunity revelation. is just, I mean, doors are opening all over the world and it's at their invitation. It's please come help us, you know. So we, there's just so, so many open doors right now and so many opportunities to step in. And we want to take you to that meeting and, and really let you experience what it was like to sit down with pastors and leaders, most of them needing translation, some of them speaking good English, and, and exploring the possibility of Christian TV for that part of the world. Budapest, Hungary. Take a look. First things first, you want to have you look at the camera here. Először is az első dolog, szeretném, ha megnéznétek azt a kamerát. And do a little wave to the Christians around the world. So we are uh, thrilled to be here, Lori and I. This is our first time in uh, Hungary. And our hope today is to see if there is a consensus that Hungary could benefit by Christian television. With Christian television, you send the gospel into the homes. 
where you know better than anybody the hurt, the pain, the suffering in the homes of people around the world. We're not here to try to convince you to do anything. We're wanting to see if you're a group that wants some assistance with mainly technical side of what it takes to get this done. The first generation of TBN, my parents, were very passionate to see someone preaching on the air and that signal of the preachers available to the world. That vision is complete. The next level of that vision to be complete is to not export that preacher from America any longer. The next level is that the camera now is in Hungary. And it must go to the face <laughs> of a Hungarian. This face, this face, this face, especially this one smiling. <laughs> the, the love of the Lord is coming through his face. We believe the next level is you reaching Hungarians, not our American ministries reaching Hungarians. Now, we will put a few programs which would be translated because globally we know by statistics that a few of the American ministries are very, very popular worldwide. I'll start with Joyce Meyer. Beloved globally. She puts her program in, I believe, more than 50 languages. Household name. But. De. 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 We know that the primary source must be the ministries in Hungary. So it's not about us. Jesus is relevant. Hanem Jézus egyébként is elfogadható és releváns. Jesus is relevant to every issue. Tehát Jézus minden egyes problémára releváns. Every problem. Minden egyes. Every good, every bad. Jesus is relevant. Jézus releváns mindenre. We lift him up. Megoldás. He does all the work. Mi őt fölemeljük és ő a megoldás mindenre. Ő teszi a He gets all the glory. És ő kapja meg ezért az összes dicsőséget. We hope that this group is assembled. Nagyon reméljük, hogy ez a csoport, akik összejöttek. For the purpose of seeing 24 hour a day Hungarian Christian television on the air. Azzal a célral vagyunk együtt, hogy meglátvassunk 24 órán keresztül egy televíziós programot. It's not up to me. Ez nem rajtam múlik, nem rajtam át. It's up to you. Ez rajtatok át. As you know, you've heard uh, TVN started 43 years ago, and the mission has always been soul, soul, soul. És a küldetés mindig is ez volt, lelkek, lelkek, lelkek. And today it remains the same, soul, soul, soul. We love you. And it's so good to be here. Hungary's history began in the early Middle Ages, when the Magyars, a semi-nomadic people from Eastern Europe, conquered the Carpathian Basin around 895. Stephen I took the kingship in 1000 and converted the entire country to Christianity. The kingdom increased in power until the mid-13th century, when Mongol invasions routed the country, leaving half of its population dead. Subsequent Mongol attacks were thwarted by newly built castle defenses and improved military tactics. Hungary continued under strong kingly leadership until its decline in the late 15th century. In 1526, it was overcome by the Ottoman Empire and later divided into three regions. Then, after nearly 200 years of border disputes with the Ottomans, the Austrian Habsburgs completely conquered the area in 1718. After a period of many revolutions and reforms, Hungary became a part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1867. 
During this time, Hungary increased in prosperity, becoming relatively modern and industrialized by the beginning of the 20th century. During World War I, the Hungarian side of the Austro-Hungarian Empire suffered devastating losses. In October 1918, Hungary's union with Austria was dissolved and Hungary became an independent nation. During World War II, Hungary sided with Germany and Italy, yet wound up being defeated and occupied by the Soviet Union. The nation then became a communist state. Hungary attempted a revolution in 1956, gaining worldwide attention, but it was soon crushed by the Soviets. Communist rule in Hungary came to an end in 1989. Hungary opened its border with Austria, leading to a flood of refugees fleeing communism. With the collapse of the Berlin Wall and the communist movement, Hungary became a democracy and is now a member of the EU and NATO with a fairly vibrant economy. With 50% of the population claiming to be Christian, Hungary is a land well suited to receive the gospel. You know what's so, so amazing about this area is that they're all saying, boy, this is just the perfect timing for Christian television to come into Hungary. And uh, getting them even all in, in unity and to come together, it's just an amazing thing. But they're, I, I think they're ready. I think in the spirit they're ready to, to step out and to start TBN Hungary. What we want to do today is explain to you, the partners, kind of what a fact-finding mission is. Two hours ago, we were in a small little hotel meeting room, and we had, through contacts, through Mike and Kathy Hayes mm -hmm. in Dallas, Texas, and some contacts of, of an employee, a former employee of TBN, From uh, this named area. Hope, mm -hmm. whose parents and whose family were Hungarian, we got in contact with several people here in Hungary. One of the things that this reminds me of is what has happened in, for TB in Poland. TB in Poland is really taking shape. Yeah. A lot of content is happening. But a couple of years ago, we traveled to Dansk, Poland, and then to Warsaw, Poland, and we had a few meetings with people that started getting the enthusiasm built among some of the Christian leaders for Christian television. In 2014, Matt and Lori and the TBN team journeyed to Poland and met with a small group of people who were dedicated to spreading the gospel across the entire nation. These initial talks gave way to larger meetings as more and more people took hold of the vision for 24-hour Christian television in the Polish language. In March 2015, Matt and Lori again traveled to Poland as the process to bring forth the dream took an enormous step. Brother Christoph, what is happening in Poland? What is happening for TBN right here, right now? Today we signed papers at the notary's office and we started TBN Poland. And the message that we're going to give to the people of all of Poland is what? We will reach all houses. Yeah and we'll bring them a gospel of love. There is maybe 35% of the population going to church, some in the Catholic churches, Protestants less than 200,000, exactly. and there's 38 some million people in Poland. So the idea that the message of the gospel of grace needs to come to Poland has begun. After the papers were signed, TBN Poland later moved into a car repair shop, transforming the building into a modern production and post-production facility that broadcasts the love of Christ nationwide. TBN Polska now on the air 24 hours a day. Welcome to TBN Polska Studios. 24 hours a day, you got to have a studio. That's what's happening here. Okay, Christoph, we're wanting to get the next phase of what's happening now at TBN Polska. So today we are now, where are we? We are in the main place of TBN Poland. It's okay. our main building. Uh, that's where we do the most of production and the marketing work. 
everything we see right now, you've done in how long? It took us 11 months. 11 months. So yeah. the ceiling, the floor, the walls, the screens, the everything, the Wiring, everything, plumbing, wiring, and the area <laughs> around. That's what we were doing here. Okay, so TBN Polska now on the air 24 hours a day here in the Polish language. Today, these initial meetings in Hungary are kindling a flame and igniting the vision for 24-hour Christian television in the Hungarian language. With successes like TBN Poland in hand, your TBN continues to be relentless in its mission to revolutionize lives all over the world with the uplifting gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, if you just tuned in, behind us is the Danube River. We are in Budapest, Hungary. Budapest and this beautiful city, the beautiful, kind of amazing architecture, one of the central European amazing capital here. We are in Budapest. Okay, this is our first trip here. What we did is we met with pastors just a few hours ago, and you know, I my impression of what happened in that meeting was there was a genuine sense of excitement. And I, I told everyone that, you know, I want to make sure you understand why we're here. We're not here to bring or export TBN or Christian TV into Hungary. From America. We are, we are wanting to get the Hungarian people yeah. excited about getting Christian television developed yeah. by themselves and that we want to support you. Now, you know, we come into these meetings and we have done meetings like this in South Africa when we re-established Christian television in the entire continent through TBN in Africa. So what we do normally is we get a group of, you know, leaders and, and denominational leaders. Uh, there's dynamic churches faith church here in Budapest, Hungary, 10,000 seat auditorium. A senior pastor is a contemporary of Pat Robertson and Lester Summerall and, and, and those types. And just a well-established, very dynamic church, faith church here. And so they had representatives here, denominations were represented, local churches were represented. and. And what, what I think the common comment that I got back as we were just kind of breaking apart and, and, and saying goodbye and, and getting comments and getting individual time with some of the people. Is, Fellowshipping. Yeah, we were, we were getting, we were, what theme I wanted to, to, to try to describe and Bob uh, Fatma, our, our chief operating officer and what Lori and I said and what I wanted to communicate was I think Christian television is going to, you know, for lack of better analogy, Christian TV 2.0. And we can export mm -hmm. TV programs and we can export all of the great American preachers. And they certainly want some of that content. But the idea that Hungarian people in Hungary communicating the gospel in a way that they, that they understand it in a much deeper way is Christian TV 2.0. Yeah. So we're here, we're telling you, the partners of TV and around the world, keep this part of Central uh, Europe in your prayers. Keep the people of yes. Hungary in your prayers. This was a communist nation. Mm -hmm. It is no longer. It has a very vibrant economy. 50% of the people in this country would self-identify as Christian. Mm -hmm. A lot of those are Catholic, but a very large, you know, contingency Protestant. of Protestant folks. And this is really kind of, it feels like this is, you know, a, a perfect litmus test of Central Europe, that Hungarians are ready, they're right. They responded to our challenge. Yeah. You know what? Christian TV needs to be here. It needs to go into every home and you need to do it. You need to love it. We're not going to come and just set things up for you. We're not going to come and just 
do everything. We are here to simply present the yeah. vision, let you know that when you talk about the love of God, the love of Jesus, the grace of salvation yes. through faith and by grace, and people are responding yeah. around the world. Everyone got it, everyone understood, everyone was excited about the dynamic of having Christian television right here for yeah. the Hungarian people in Hungary. The Republic of Hungary is a landlocked country in Central Europe. Located in the Carpathian Basin, it shares its boundaries with Austria to the west, Serbia, Croatia, and Slovenia to the south and southwest, Romania to the southeast, Ukraine to the northeast, and Slovakia to the north. With a population of roughly 10 million, it's one of the highest populated states in Central and Eastern Europe. Hungary has two main waterways. The Danube is Europe's second longest river and was formerly a long-standing frontier of the Roman Empire. The Tissa River is notable for being the resting place of Attila the Hun. Its capital and most populous city is Budapest. It occupies both banks of the Danube River and is a significant global economic hub with one of the largest regional economies in the European Union. Budapest has a dynamic growing population with a high quality of life. Hungary's largest piece of architecture, the Gothic Parliament Building, is located in Budapest, alongside the Danube River. Hungary has a continental oceanic climate, with hot summers of low humidity and frequent rain, and mild snowy winters. It features a terrain of mostly flat to rolling plains, but there are several moderately high mountain ranges. The country is rich in fertile agricultural land. Over 50% is used for farming. Hungary is famous for producing high-quality peppers, which are then made into paprika. 19% of Hungary is covered by forest. It has 10 national parks, as well as many nature reserves and landscape protection areas. Hungary is a vibrant location and ripe for the sowing of the gospel. So I think Lori coined the saying of the day is that they are hungry in Hungary for Christian television. Yes and for TBN and for us to be able to be right here at the very beginning stages, the very first meeting and the formulation of what could turn out to be 24 hour day Christian television is amazing. We yes. have the ability to put some Hungarian programming on Hotbird and on our TBN Europe feed that they could see here through satellite. And maybe that's the best way to go initially but maybe one day yeah. this group will come together and 24-hour Christian TV will be a reality. That's the goal. <laughs> but you know what they said something? Uh, they told us that in London, they've got the second largest population oh, of Hungarians right there in the UK in London. And um, that sounds amazing because we have a beautiful, beautiful studio there and they could do lots of programming there. You That'd know, awesome. the, the idea that Farsi language yeah. programming, Arabic programming, Hungarian programming could be being created out of the beautiful TBN awesome. UK studios right near Wembley Stadium in London. Big four-story building, three big flat floor studios. How about one of them being mm. used for the Hungarian people right God here? has truly blessed us and we have the opportunity. We have the doors are opening all over the world really to, to start these networks inside of these countries and it is, I mean, that's just, Christian TV 2.0. Yeah. That is the next level yeah. that we don't just export Christian TV from around the world and into a place. Or but translating yeah. our, our American programming into their language. It's them to their tribe and nation and their tongue reaching people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's, just, that's amazing. <laughs> This preliminary meeting could be categorized as somewhat historic, really, because there has been a history here in the Budapest and the Hungarian uh, people and leadership that they don't work so much together. Today, there was a full cross-section yes. of ministries that were representative. That's one of the great things about yes, Christian is. television is that it can be a great uniter and not divider, that we're 
welcoming anybody that professes faith in Jesus and professes, you know, the the death, burial, resurrection Amen. of Jesus and, 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 and that will, you know, obviously use the lessons learned that the gospel of grace is lighting people on fire, that the gospel of grace is really the thing that is the change in people that we're seeing around the world. And, and so the idea that Christian TV may be being birthed right now, some of the people that came up to us said, I've just been working on some content. I've just mm -hmm. been working on some programming. Our church is wanting to do this. We're wanting to get, it just feels like today was a very orchestrated and ordained day that we would be here right now in the beautiful city of Budapest, Hungary. Our first time here and behind us, they call this chain bridge that leads into the, the, the part of the city where St. Stephen's Church is. What a beautiful mm -hmm. place that today, a historic meeting, I'll say it, it was a historic <laughs> meeting. We had a really great representation and a group that came together, we prayed, and one day we hope that those prayers are just a seed planted, that a 24-hour signal is on the air in Hungary. So from the Buddha side, looking across to the Pesh in Budapest, we'll see you next time on Behind the Scenes. Bye.